Welcome back to KMOT First News at 10. I'm John Jacklin. We had three Magi Sports in town today, and it was a beautiful evening to have them all in the Magic City for a day. Let's head out to the pitch to start off, shall we? Minot versus Legacy from Dwayne Carlson Stadium. So you've heard of Bend It Like Beckham, but what about Bend It Like Emerson? Emerson Perrin gets the scoring underway with a left-footed strike that curls into the top left corner out of the goalie's reach. Legacy looking for an equalizer. They get a tackle in their attacking third, and Ella Jones hits it first time from way out and too far to trouble Kinsley Gilmore. Gilmore looking for back-to-back -back clean sheets to start the season. Magi back on the attack as Macy Burke cruises down the left wing. Shot deflected off the keeper and in 2-0 Majets. Minot takes this by a score of 5-0. While it was not the first home game of the season, it was the first home game outdoors for the Majets today as they also faced Bismarck Legacy. Now to the South Hill Complex. We pick up action in the second game of the doubleheader as Taylor Falcon hits one to center field. Outfielder can't corral it and Falcon goes for second, slides and throw not in time. Later in the inning, Falcon is on third base. Now it's a high bunt in the infield and it drops. Falcon runs home and she is safe again. Majets build on their lead in the third inning. Legacy trying to end the inning, and they do so with a terrific catch from Catherine Lemoyne. What a way to get the third out. Sabres on the hunt now with a runner on third, and it's a ground out to first. And Jillian Ackerman sends the throw home in time for the double play. Majets win both by scores of 15 to 4 and 5 to 0. Now out to Corbett Field for Magicians versus Midgets Baseball. Early in the second game now, bases empty for the Magi, and Kellen Burke hits a base hit into left center field for the single. Very next batter, and it's a deep shot from Parker Hahn near the fence, and it lands on the warning track. Throw from center field is able to keep Burke at third, but Hahn has the double. Minot only got three runs in this game, so defense was key, and it helps when you have Adam Rodacher on the mound. He gets the strikeout here. Minot dominated in the first game, winning 14-4, but Dickinson kept it close in the second. Magi still win, though, 3-2 in the second. And following a mo monumental stretch for women's college basketball, some more big news tonight from the sport. Tara Vanderveer is retiring as head coach of Stanford following 38 seasons. She's the winningest coach in college basketball history. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.